Hello everyone, this is part 6, and the final part of my Freddy from Five Nights at Freddy's, the Minecraft Pixel Art Tutorial. So we're going to start off with the blue wool. These are the blocks that you're going to be needing, because we're going to be working on his eye now. So we're going to need the blue wool, the light blue wool, we're going to need the snow, or the light, let's see, we're going to, yes, the white wool and the light gray wool. So those are the five blocks that we're going to be needing these five here. So let us start off by using the placement block and we're going to start on the right eye of Freddy. So we're going to move over here to the right and find these two black walls going up. We're going to start from the bottom block on the left side. So starting from there, you're going to place two blocks going across to the to the left. So that's one, two. So now we're going to switch to the lapis, which I called blue. I don't know why. So the blue wool, the light blue wool. So uh <laughs> With the lapis, you're going to place four blocks, or the light blue wool, I should say. Dang it. You don't do a tutorial for a long time, and this happens. So with the light blue wool, you place four blocks going down. That's one, two, three, four. So it looks like this. Okay, so let's get rid of those. We're also going to need the black wool for this. Let's move all of this nonsense away. We don't need you now. So let's switch to the black wool. And with the black wool, starting from the top block of the four light blue wools going down, starting on the uh, left side, so from there, place two blocks going across, so that's one, two. Now switch over to the lapis, starting on the left side, you're going to place three blocks going down, that's one, two, three. Now switch over to the black wool. Starting underneath the black, uh, the lapis, you're going to place three blocks going across to the right. So that's one, two, three. And this is weird. I don't know why this looks weird. I guess there must have been some Minecraft update because lapis never looked like this, at least on the Xbox 360. It's weird. It's always changing the texture every time there's an update on the Xbox. So yeah, lapis never looked exactly like this. Kind of like there's almost like a double square. But you don't care, and neither do I. So, let's go ahead and switch over to the black wool and fill in this empty space here with the black wool. Now let's switch over to the light blue wool, and let's go back to the top block of these three new lapis blocks looking, at least to me. Starting on the left side, so from there, you're going to place three blocks going down. That's one, two, three. Now you're going to switch over to the light gray wool, starting from the top block on the left side. You're going to place two blocks going across to the left. That's one, two. Now you're going to switch over to the white wool. So switching to the white wool, starting underneath the left block of the two light gray wools going across. So starting from there, place four white wools going down. That's one, two, three, four. Then place one block going diagonal down to the right. That's one. Now two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. One, two. Now switch to the snow block. Now with the snow block starting on the right side of the two white walls going across, so starting from there, with the snow block, you're going to place three blocks going across to the right. That's one, two, three. Now starting on top of the right block of the three blocks going across, you're going to place two snow blocks going up. That's one, two. So it looks like this. Now you're going to fill in this empty space here with the snow block. So do that now. And it should look like this. Now we're going to switch over to the placement block and we're going to fly down here to these six black walls going across. You're going to put a placement block on top of these two black walls. Place one there. So it looks like this. Now we're going to switch over to the spruce wood, and with the spruce wood starting on top of that placement block, you're going to place four blocks going across to the right. Four. That's one, two, three, four. Get rid of that. And it should look like this. Now we're going to switch over to the... Let's see, we're going to switch over to the brown wool, so let's switch to the brown. Starting on top of these three black wools, you're going to place three brown wools, and then place five brown wools on top of these five black wools. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And it should look like this. 
So now we're going to switch to the placement block and we're going to move over here to the left and up. And I want you to find these four black holes going up, making contact with these two black holes going up. And with the placement block, we're going to start underneath the two black holes and you're going to place three blocks going across to the left. That's one, two, three. Now you're going to switch to the lapis block and starting from there, you're going to place three blocks going down. That's one, two, three. Get rid of those. Now you're going to switch to the light gray wool and starting from the top block on the left side, you're going to place three light gray wools going across to the left. It's one, two, three. Now you're going to switch over to the white wool and with the white wool starting underneath the left block of the three light gray wools with the white, you're going to place two sets of twos going down on the right side. Two sets of twos. So that's one, two, one. One, two, two. And now place one block going diagonal down to the right. That's one. Now switch to the snow blocks starting on the right side of this one white wool. Starting from there, you're going to place three blocks going up. That's one, two, and three. Then you're going to fill in this empty space here with the snow block. Let's do that now. And when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. So now you're going to switch over to the black wool. Now with the black wool, you're going to be filling in this single empty area here, staying within the black wool outline, including that one small spot here that's in between these two snow blocks going diagonal. So go ahead and fill in this single space here with the black wool. Do that now. And when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. So now we're going to switch over to the spruce wood. So let's switch over to the spruce wood. And we're going to move over here to this side going all the way down here. And I want you to find the four black wolves going diagonal up to the right. And we're going to start on top of the first block that went up to the right. So we're going to start on top of this black wolf starting from there. You're going to place 12 blocks going up with spruce wood. So that's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I place one block going diagonal up to the right. That's one. Now place nineteen blocks going up on the right side. Nineteen. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. That's nineteen blocks going up. Now you're going to place three sets of twos going up on the right side. Three sets of twos going up on the right. That's one, two, one, one, two, two, and one, two, three. That's three sets of twos. And now you're going to place five blocks going diagonal up to the right. Five blocks diagonal. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. So that's five blocks. Let's get rid of those. And now place two blocks going across on the upper level to the right two blocks across so that's one two and it should look like this now you're going to be filling in these small empty spaces here in between the black wool and the spruce wood you're going to fill them in with the spruce wood planks so go ahead and do that now let's fill them in okay And when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. So now we're going to switch over to the brown wool. Now with the brown wool, we're going to move over here to the left of Freddy's eye. And we're going to start from that one block on the left side of it. So starting from there, you're going to place two blocks going diagonal up to the right with brown wool. So that's one. Let's switch this around. And 
two. So that's two blocks going diagonal, and it should look like this. So as soon as I get this out of the way. All right. Okay, so it should look like this. Now place ten blocks going up on the left side. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now place two sets of twos going up on the right side. Two sets of twos going up on the right. That's one, two, one, one, two, two. Now, staying in the same column of these two blocks going up, we're not going to move left or right. Staying in the same column, you're going to move straight up, and we're going to start on top of this black wall. So staying in the same line of this, starting on top of this black wall, you're going to place six blocks going up. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now place two sets of twos going up on the right side. Two sets of twos. That's one, two, one, one, two, two. And place three blocks going diagonal up to the right. That's one, two, three. I place two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. It's one, two. And I place three blocks going across on the upper level to the right. One, two, three. And it should look like this. Now you're going to be filling in this single empty space here with the brown wool so go ahead and do that now fill this empty space here with the brown wool and when you're done filling it in it should look like this so now we're going to move to the upper right corner of this large area so we're going to move up here and you're going to switch to the spruce wood so let's switch to the spruce wood for this and we're going to move all the way up here to the very top right corner, so it's not there, but going up here. Starting underneath that black wall, you're going to place three blocks going diagonal down to the right. So that's one, two, three. Now two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. One, two. And now two blocks going diagonal down to the right. One, two. Now, starting on top of these two black walls, so starting from there, you're going to place two, no, three, three spruce wood going across to the left. Now, I'm going to place them like this because I want to maintain the pattern. So that's one, two, three. So it looks like this because if you didn't have anything underneath it, it's probably going to look like that. I don't like that. You can have it like that, but I'm not going to place it like that. So it should look exactly like this. Now place six blocks going down on the left side. Six blocks going down the left. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Fly up, get rid of that. Now fill in this empty space here with the spruce wood. Now you're going to switch over to the brown wool. Now with the brown wool moving to the top, of the six spruce woods going down so starting from the top block you're going to count two blocks down this being the first one so this is one and this is two now we're going to start next to this spruce wood on the left side of it so starting from there you're going to place three blocks going diagonal up to the left three blocks diagonal up to the left that's one two and three now place two blocks going across on the upper level to the left that's one, two. And now three blocks going across on the upper level to the left. So that's one, two, three. So that was two blocks across and three blocks across. So it looks like this. Now you're going to fill in this empty space here with the brown wool. So go ahead and do that now. Just fill this empty space here with the brown wool as I fail on placing those blocks. Okay. So let's fill this in, and it should look like this. 
So now we're going to move down here, and we're going to switch to the spruce wood for this next part. Now with the spruce wood, we're going to not go all the way down here, but let's go to these three black wheels here. And we're going to start underneath it and place seven spruce wood going down. Seven. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now place three blocks going down on the right side. So that's one, two, three. And I'll place four blocks going diagonal down to the right. Four blocks diagonal down to the right. So that's one, two, three, and four. And now place three blocks going across on the lower level to the right. Three blocks across, lower level to the right. One, two, three. And now place two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. One, two. Now switch to the brown wool and place one brown wool underneath the right block of the two spruce woods. So place one there. And it should look like this. Now you're going to switch back to the spruce wood, and you're going to be filling in these three empty spaces here in between the spruce wood and the black wool. So go ahead and do that now. Fill these in with the spruce wood. And it should look like this when you're done filling it in. Now we're going to switch back over to the brown wool, and let's go back down here to these two black walls. Starting underneath it, so starting from there, you're going to place three sets of threes going down on the right side. Three sets of threes going down on the right. That's one, two, three, one, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, three. That's three sets of threes going down on the right. Now you're going to place eight blocks going down on the right side. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now place two blocks going down on the left side. On the left, two blocks going down. So let's switch this up so it doesn't look like that. So that's one, two. Now three blocks going diagonal down to the down to the uh, left. So that's one, two, and three. Now switch over to the spruce wood. Now with the spruce wood, starting on top of the last uh, brown wool going diagonal, starting from there, you're going to place two blocks going up. So that's one, two. Now starting on top of this brown wool, you're going to place two spruce wood going up. That's one, two. And it should look like this. Now you're going to fill in this single empty space. This will... It's more than just one. So fill in this, 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 and this with the spruce wood. Fill in those four empty spaces with the spruce wood. Let's do that now. And it should look like this when you're done filling it in. Okay, so now we're going to switch over to the brown wool. So now with the brown wool, starting on top of this black wool here. Starting from there. Place two blocks going up. That's one and two. Now we're going to move down here. So starting from there, you're going to place two blocks going diagonal down to the down to the uh, left. So that's one, two. And now two sets of twos going down on the left side. Two sets of twos. That's one, two, one, one, two, and that's two. Now three blocks going diagonal down to the left. One, two, three. And place two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. One, two. Now one block going diagonal down to the left. That's one. Now place two sets of twos going across on the lower level to the left. Two sets of twos. That's one, two, one. One, two, two. And it should look like this. Now you're going to switch over to the spruce wood. And with the spruce wood, you're going to fill in these four empty spaces here. 
with the spruce wood plank. Or not the plank, but just the spruce wood. So fill them in with the spruce wood. And it should look like this. Now you're going to switch over to the brown, let's see, not the brown, but the, let's see, the spruce wood planks. Let's switch over to the spruce wood planks, and now we're going to fill in this entire single area here, staying within the outline, of course, and of course it goes all the way over here and down here and loops back. So you're going to fill in this single large area here with the spruce wood planks, staying within the outline. So do that now. And when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. So now all that's left is the two ears and the hat. So let's start on the left ear. And let's see if we can make this go by fast. So for this, we're going to start off with the spruce wood. So with the spruce wood moving down here to the bottom part of his left ear, you're going to place four blocks going across on top of these four black walls. So that's one, two, three, four. And then two sets of twos going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two, one, one, two, two. And then two blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one and two. And it should look like this. So now that we have that, we're going to move, let's see, we're going to move up here to this area. So going up here to the upper kind of right corner but going up here to these three black walls going up making contact with these five black walls going diagonal so this is the area i want you to be starting on top of this one black wall that's next to these three blocks starting from there place three blocks going up that's one two three and then two blocks going up on the left side so it's going to look like that that's one two and then two blocks going diagonal up to the left that's one and two so it should look exactly like this now we're going to switch to the brown wool now with the brown wool we're going to move down here and fill in these two empty spaces here with the brown wool so do that now and now starting on top of this black wool starting from there you're going to hug the outline going all the way up to uh that black wool so we're just going to hug the outline so it looks like this and now what you're going to do is we're going to move up here starting underneath these two black walls so we're going to essentially continue the path of the spruce wood but this time with the brown wool and what you're going to do is hug the entire outline of the black wool going all the way around until yeah, don't even hit this. You're going to make contact with this, but you're going to continue on top of it and going all the way up until you reach this point here and you place three brown walls going up. So it should be simple. All you're doing is just hugging the outline. So that's two. So that's five. So that's five. That's two. That's one. That's one. That's one. Again, it's nothing too hard at all to understand. Hopefully you understand all of it. All we're doing is just hugging the outline with the same amount of blocks. So we place like this. It saves me a bunch of time. I'm just instructing you with like one block at a time. So when you're done placing it, it should look exactly like this. Nothing too hard or complicated to understand, hopefully. Now we're going to switch over to the spruce wood. Now with the spruce wood, we're going to move to the inner part of his ear. So we're going to work inside of this black wall. But before we actually get into it, we might as well finish uh, filling in this area. So you're going to switch to the spruce wood planks. You're going to fill in this small space here with the spruce wood plank. And you're going to fill in this single empty space here between the brown wall and the black wall. You're going to fill in this single space here with the spruce wood planks. So do that now. And when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. So now let's switch over to the spruce wood and work on this empty area here. And we're going to move to the bottom part of it. And we're going to place three spruce wood going across on top of these three black walls. So that's one, two, three. And then two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. One, two. Now two blocks going diagonal up to the left that's one and two 
and now place two sets of, let's see, we're going to place actually three sets. So we're going to place three sets of twos going up on the left side. Three sets of twos. That's one, two, one, one, two, two, and one, two, three. That's three sets of twos. Now place two blocks going diagonal up to the right. That's one and two. Now two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. Two blocks across. So that's one and two. Now place six blocks going across on the upper level to the right. Six blocks across. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now place one block going diagonal. Let's see, two blocks going diagonal. So that's one and two. So it's two blocks, not just one. So that's two blocks going diagonal, and it should look like this. Now you're going to fill in all of these small empty spaces here in between the black wool and the spruce wood. Fill them in with the spruce wood. So let's fill those in. So it looks like that. Now you're going to switch to the brown wool, and with the brown wool, you're going to hug the entire outline of the spruce wood and some of this black wool. So just hug the outline of the black wool and the spruce wood with the brown wool, just with matching this certain block number. So just do this. It should not be too hard at all to understand or follow. It saves me a lot of time instructing you. So when you're done with that, it should look like this. Now you're going to switch over to the spruce wood planks, and with the spruce wood planks, you're going to fill in this single area here with this spruce wood planks. I don't think I have to time lapse this because it's not that large of an area. So let's go ahead and just fill this in with the spruce wood planks. Okay. All right, there we go. So when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. So now let's go and work on the right ear of Freddy. So let's go and we're going to start down here. And we're going to switch to the brown wool for this. So switching to the brown wool, starting at the bottom part of his ear. So down here at the left corner from there. You're going to place seven blocks going across. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let's go back over here to the left. Place two blocks going across on the upper level to the left at 1, 2. And then two blocks going up on the left side. 1, 2. And now place one block going diagonal up to the left at 1. And it should look like this so far. Now let's move back over here to the right. And you're going to place five blocks going diagonal up to the Right, five blocks diagonal, so that's one, two, three, four, five. Get rid of those. And place two blocks going up on the right side. One, two. Now place nine blocks going up on the right side. Nine blocks going up on the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now place 3 blocks going up on the left side. 1, 2, 3. And now 3 blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's 1, 2, 3. And now place two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. One, two. Now place seven blocks going across on the upper level to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. One, two. Now two blocks going diagonal down to the left. That's one 
and two. Now place two sets of twos going down on the left side. Two sets of twos. It's one, two, one, one, two, two. And now one block going diagonal down to the left. That's one. And two blocks going down on the left side. So that's one, two. I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this so far. So now what you're going to do is switch to the spruce wood. Now with the spruce wood, you're going to be filling in all of these small spaces here that are in between the black wool and the uh, brown wool. So all the spaces that you see here in between the black wool and the brown wool, you're going to fill them in with spruce wood. And then you're going to switch over to the spruce wood planks. And then with the spruce wood planks, you're going to be filling in this single large area here that's in between the brown wool and the black wool. So this area here, the single area, gets filled in with spruce wood planks, while the smaller spaces at the outer part get filled in with spruce wood. So do that now. And when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. So now we're going to switch over to the spruce wood. Now with this spruce wood, we're going to move to the empty space here, and we're going to start at the bottom left corner. So starting on top of the, the left block of the three blocks, with the spruce wood, place two blocks going across to the right. That's one, two. Then two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. So that's one, two. And now one block going diagonal. It's actually two blocks. I keep getting that confused. Two blocks going diagonal, because I'm thinking about the brown wool that you'll place later. So uh, two blocks going diagonal. So that's one, two. And now place two blocks going up on the left side. That's one, two. And now three blocks going up on the left side. One, two, three. Now you're going to place four blocks going diagonal up to the left. Four blocks diagonal up to the left. That's one, two, three, four. Now place five blocks going across on the upper level to the left. Five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Now you're going to fill in all of these small empty spaces that are in between the black wool and the spruce wood. Fill them in with spruce wood. So do that now. And it should look like this. Now you're going to switch over to the brown wool. And with the brown wool, you're just going to hug the outline of the black wool and the spruce wood with the same amount of blocks. And use the brown wool for this. Again, very simple and easy to follow, just hugging the outline. Okay. And when you're done, it should look like this. Now we're going to switch over to the spruce wood planks, and with the spruce wood planks, we're going to be filling in the remaining part here with the spruce wood planks. So let's fill in this space here with the spruce wood planks while we misplace a bunch of blocks by accident. Here, okay. Let's do this. Believe me, it's, it's a hassle time-lapsing. You'd think it's just a simple click of the, the mouse, just the time-lapse apart. That's why I'm not going to bother time-lapsing this one part. I'd rather do this in real time. It's a lot faster when it comes to editing. Okay, so once you fill that in, it should look exactly like this. Now let's go and work on the final part, which is Freddy's hat. Hello, Freddy. We're going to switch over to the black wool. Now with the black wool, you're going to fill in this single empty space here, staying within the outline. Fill in this space here with black wool. So do that now. And when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. So now we're going to switch over, because we don't need these blocks anymore. We're going to need the gray wool, the bedrock, the stone block, the light gray wool, the white wool, and the snow, in that order. Oh, let's move the black wool over here. We don't actually need the black wool. We're done with the black wool, so let's just put the black wool away. So these are the last colors that we're going to be... I keep calling them colors. These are the last blocks that we're going to be using for this pixel art. 
So we're going to move over here, and I want you to find these 15 black holes going across. They're above the 18 black holes that are making contact with the 18 gray holes here. So finding these 15 black holes going across with the gray wool, we're going to start on the left side of the 15 black wool. So from there, you're going to count two blocks into the right, this being the first block that you count. This is one, and this is two. Now starting underneath it, starting from there, you're going to just place gray wool going all the way across until you hit that black wool. So from there, just place gray wool going across. And then you're going to fill in this empty space here as well with the gray wool. So fill this in. And then fill in this empty space here with gray wool. And then starting on top of this black wool, you're just going to place gray wool going straight up until you make contact with that black wool. And it should look like this. Now switch to the bedrock and fill in this empty space here with bedrock. So do that now. Filling this in. So it looks like that. Now let's go back over here to this empty space. And we're going to switch over to the light gray wall. So let's see, we're going to switch to the light gray wall. And we're going to start up here. We actually didn't need the stone, surprisingly enough. I thought we did. Okay. So with the light gray wool starting underneath these eight black wools going up, just going to place one light gray wool. And then two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two. And then one block going diagonal down to the left. That's one. Now you're going to switch over to the white wool. Now with the white wool starting from that black wool there, you're going to place five blocks going across to the right. That's one, two, three, four, five. And now you're going to fill in this empty space here with the white wool. So do that now. So it looks like this. Now you're going to switch over to the snow block. And with the snow block, you're going to fill in this single empty space here with snow. So do that now. So it looks like this. Now you're going to switch over to the gray wool, and with the gray wool, we're going to start from that black wool, starting on the left side of it. Place one gray wool, or the right side, I should say, so the right, so place one gray wool there. Okay, now on top of it, you're going to place three blocks going up. That's one, two, three. Essentially, we're going to keep matching this. So this is eight, you're going to place eight blocks going up. That's one, two, three. You don't have to count if you don't want to, because we're going to be placing the same amount of blocks that have already been placed. So this is six, so we're going to place six on the right. So that's six. So it looks like this, okay? Nothing too hard or complicating to understand. Hopefully you're following it. Now place four blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two, three, four. And now place seven blocks going across on the upper level to the right. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now you're going to switch to the bedrock, and with the bedrock, you're going to continue the path going to the right by placing two bedrocks going across. One, two. Now we're going to switch to the placement block just so we have this measured correctly. We're going to place three placement blocks going across. One, two, three, to the right. Then switch to the bedrock, place two bedrocks going across. One, two. Switch to the gray wool and place three gray wools going across. One, two, th and three. Nothing too hard or complicated to understand. Okay. Now let's get rid of these placement blocks. Again, I'll show you. But it should look like this. Now we're going to switch back to the bedrock and going back to the first two bedrocks going across. So over here on the left side. So from these two bedrocks starting underneath the right block of it. So starting from there, you're going to place... 18 blocks going down. Now, you don't have to count if you don't want to. Technically, it's going to be a total of 19, but we're going to place these bedrocks going straight down. And then you're going to place one bedrock on the left side of the bottom block. So place one there. So it looks like this. Okay, so now let's go up here. Going back up here to these other two bedrocks that are on the right side, we're going to start underneath the left block of these two bedrocks. So starting from there, you're going to place bedrock going straight down. So until it hits the black wool. So let's put, go straight down. And then you're going to place one bedrock on top of the left block of these six black walls. So place one bedrock on the left. So it looks like this. 
Okay, now comes for the final step of this tutorial. You're going to be filling in this single empty space here with the bedrock, and then, it looks like we did need the black wall, then you're going to be switching to the black wall and filling in this space here along with this space here. So the middle part of the bedrock, it's filled in with bedrock, and then the two spaces here, that space and that space, the outer parts get filled in with black wool. So do that now. And when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. Well, there you have it. A pixel art tutorial on Freddy from Five Nights at Freddy. Now, I do also have other Five Nights at Freddy's characters on my YouTube channel that I've turned into Minecraft pixel art tutorials as well, so make sure to check those out. Now that we have this completed, I have been seeing uh, people tagging me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, showing me their process after every tutorial part that gets released. Well now, show me that you've completed it. Make sure to tag me in those Instagram and Twitter and Facebook posts so I can also see it and like it. Uh, I do have other Minecraft pixel art tutorials, like I said, of uh, other Five Nights at Freddy's, but if you want to request another let's say Five Nights at Freddy's, or a different uh, pixel art altogether for a tutorial in the future of like your favorite character or maybe uh, actor or actress or whatever, whatever you want. Make sure to check out the latest Pawu video and your, your request will be counted if you leave your comment down below. In other words, you're going to be leaving your request down below in the comment section. But don't leave your request on any pixel art tutorials, time lapses, or showcases videos, the only place I take pixel art requests are from the latest Pawu videos. And I cannot stress this enough, please make sure you're commenting on the latest Pawu video. Don't go and comment on old Pawu videos that have passed their time. So, with all of that being said, make sure to stay tuned in for more Minecraft videos.